What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys still watched our last video, we did do the trunk setup on the BRZ. In case if you didn't watch that video, we'll just do a, a sneak peek of it. It's not done, but we're going to fully finish it after I install the air ride today. So here it is. That's the phase one. It's not done. It's almost done. We're still going to add a projector, project the screen, add some acrylic trim in here. So it's almost done. So right now I'm just preparing myself to install everything. I got the secondary harness, first harness uh, for the compressors. I got all the wiring, all the fittings right here. And the bag setup I went with was PSI. I don't know, I wanted to try, try those out and see what it is, but check it out right here. PSI comes with the camera plates, so hopefully it goes well. The rest of the bags right here. So I already started preparing myself with the tools, tools on the ground. So everything's gonna get fed through. I'm gonna use that firewall right there. And then started taking apart this area right here so I took off the seat because this is where I'm gonna run those airlines through make it come from the bottom have it all tucked in at the bottom come through there and then the sides right there let's go check it out from the other side yep so I already started taking apart all this because Everything has to get tucked in there. So the only thing that sucks using two harnesses, they're so thick. So now I'm gonna have to try to squeeze it in between right here. Just like on my Civic, I had to like really squish it in there. So there it is. Let's get to work. So we're getting the front set up already. So first things first, we're gonna thread these in and then figure out what angle we need these to go in. So the one for the PSI, it came with a few other fittings. But I guess they throw in some extra ones depending on what you wanna do. So this one will, will go to the to the, uh, to the the bags. If you don't have a braided line hose, but we do, so we're gonna use this fitting. Braided line hose goes into that, to the bags. And at the other end, this is where we're gonna use uh, for the other uh, quarter inch airline hose to stick in there and pull. And don't forget to use either Teflon paste or Teflon tape. We're gonna use Teflon tape uh, today. So everything that has thread, that's gonna be thread it in you want to go ahead and use the Teflon so everything will hold air uh, nice and tightly we got the Tesla uh, the Teflon all over on the fitting so Teflon there we got Teflon there and then Teflon in the braided line holes so be sure guys so to also look at the setup of the suspension so we had to adjust this we loosened the collar we turned it because we needed the whole fittings on the back side so that way the wheel is not hitting this so this will be facing the back side so you don't see the hole right there and then make sure you want to angle the corner fittings the direction of where you're gonna line up the hose in so we're gonna stick in the braided line hose right here so we want the fitting to be facing this way back and facing left this way because it's gonna go left and up into the panel right here because uh, when you're turning you don't want the braided line hose to get uh, caught up while you're... So we got the front suspension off on both sides. So PSI struts are going to go in right where there is. So you, after you turn the bag towards the back because of the hole, you want to make sure you're going to have to turn this top half. So you're just going to loosen this, turn it because it has to line up to the holes up here. So after we do all that, we're going to... Um, first we're going to put the, uh, the fittings in. Position it, then put the um, the front suspension on, and then tie it all, and then that's when we're gonna start connecting the airline. So both sides we got already bolted on and everything. This feeds in right there, and I'll just reclip it back. So everything's bolted on. 
bolts it on. So the firewall side you're gonna use is the, this side right here. Um, luckily, this is pretty simple on the Hondas or on the Civics like ours. Our firewall, we had to use the grommet all the way deep in. It was so hard. We got to go under the steering wheel column to try to slip it in. But this one is pretty easy access right here on the right side, driver's side. So if you guys are installing this, we're going to use that one, the same one we ran the, the uh, sub wire. So we're going to start running this first, go through the side. Then we'll clip it, leave some excess. So you never want to have it too tight because when it's turning, it's going to pull. It's gonna pull the wire, so make sure everything's loose, and then we'll be good. All right, as he's feeding me the wire through that firewall, everything's getting tucked in right here. So I'm just pulling it. I'm pulling it. We also taped this side so it can squeeze in better. So everything's gonna get tucked in the side here, and then bring it in through the back. So right now we're just connecting the compressor harness. So you see that red wire right there? If you have two. Um, harnesses um, one main one one secondary that one's gonna feed in directly to the same exact wire and plug and play right there you know and of course these ones are the grounds relay stays in the back and then the one that's connected to the controller is gonna feed into the front that's the one for the controller right there I also picked these up from AutoZone you don't have to do it, you can just uh, fuse tap directly what they give you, but I like this method better. So this one will just plug in uh, directly under the dash. So the one right behind the fuse right there, you'll put a 3 amp, and another one you you put the fuse that you take out from the uh, dash. So there'll be two fuses, one 3 amp, and it might be like a 10 or 15, the one you remove to whatever um, accessory power you're going to connect it to. So instead of taking off the bottom panel, we figured out that this hole right here, you can see it. That hole, the same size uh, for the same uh, for the other side, we're gonna feed the airline through there. You can see it. Focus a little bit. So that opening, then the leads. This is this opening right here. So that airline is going to go through there. So now we know where we're going to feed that airline. We're going to start pulling out the rear suspension. So we're almost done. We got this back in, but we're going to install these arms real quick. Uh, we have to shave off some of the bushing because it doesn't fit in here. So after we shave it off, we're going to insert everything, run the line through that same hole that we said right here. And we got the wiring already hooked up, the harness and everything. We're ready to go. Oh, I'll tell you how to So we just finished, but this right front bag is pretty much not good. You see that? This is on the seal on the top. So PSI needs to send me another one. This is the first time I experienced with a bad bag like this. Brand new. So I've hit up PSI and they told me it's gonna be seven to fourteen days wait, so we'll see whenever the bags get to me. So again, the top seal of this right front bag is not even sealed. The air comes out from the top. This never happened to me before, so I had several bag setups before. So if this has happened to you on a brand new set of bags, drop down some comments, let me know. But this car is basically stuck on here. And then my mistake is I got my other car blocked off, so I can't even move. I can't even take my other car, if you can see. So, 7 to 14 days, stay tuned for the second video, and after the second video drops, it'll probably be bags fully done, and I'm going to do a wheel review of the whole setup, fit it, and everything, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.